This is Jonathan Agioff here for Pro Boxing Fans. I'm joined by trainer Shane McGuinn. When you look at sort of the heavyweight division, we know that the Fury Wilder three fight's going to happen. If you're in Deontay Wilder's corner, what do you suggest to him to do in this rematch? No one that I've seen is giving him any hope, apart from maybe his fans and his team. How would you advise him, if you were in his corner, to go about this? Drive the right hand into the body. He didn't do it once, and he keeps headhunting with a guy like Fury. He keeps trying to go over the top, but Fury, I mean, he's he stands there and takes all the body shots. You know, he can definitely take a body shot, but if you're going to box a big guy like that, especially even though Wilder's um, six foot seven, he's always he's always been fighting tall, and he's always been he's always had shorter opponents. So he's designed a style to punch over the top of people. Wilder, but he need, he now needs to bring in sparring partners from all over the place that are as tall as possible and actually start low, rather than shoot high first off, just drive into the body and then sort of climb up. But he's not a combination puncher, so that's why he's got one big shot in him, but as soon as he puts two to three together, he blows out. Um, can you develop that? Uh, I think you can, but is he too exactly. far gone? Do you know what I mean? Um, look, I think it's going to be a much better fight than the second one. Um, he's going to be much more G'd up for it, but I still think Fury's going to win. Pacquiao Spence, what do you think of that? you got a guy who's in the prime of his career and a guy that's right at the tail end of it, but you can never write off Manny Pacquiao. After the Jeff Horn fight, I thought, Jesus, he's shot to bits and then he come out and, and, and beat up Keith Thurman. So, I don't know what, that, that guy is just, he's a, he's a, just a freak of nature. Um, but, and also just got, the most amount of cojones possible, do you know what I mean? Going in the fight, the, 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 realistically, he's the most feared welterweight out there. Everyone says, you know, Crawford is, but Crawford, it, Crawford's not as feared, in my opinion, as someone like uh, Errol Spence, just because of the size of him, the stature, the fact that he can punch, he walks you down, he doesn't box you on the back foot, he, he presses the fight. And, uh, but I, look, I, I, think, I don't think that's gonna go the distance, I think Errol Spence is gonna get him out of there, but, um, I wouldn't be surprised if Pacquiao causes him problems because he's, you know, he is Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. What about um, Caleb Plant Canelo? Do you give Caleb much of a chance? Um, yeah, I think Canelo's a good fight. I, think, I had George sparring him in, uh, in Vegas, but I think Canelo will, will chop him down and, and probably stop him late. Um, he's skillful. Caleb's uh, skillful. He hasn't got that much power. Um, and he's a defensive fighter, so that will give Canelo problems because Canelo you know, likes guys to come in on him and, and sort of try and have a fight with him. So it would definitely give, give him problems. I just, I just don't think it will. You know, I don't think he'll have the power to keep Canelo off because once Canelo will then, just like he did against Billy Joe, start pushing the fight. I think uh, Canelo will get hit too much and, and he either go points or, or late stoppage. Just lastly. Uh, <laughs> How's Luke Campbell getting on? Yeah, Luke's, Luke's, Luke's doing good. You know, he's taking some time with his family. He's got a, a young-born baby, Levi. So, uh, yeah, I think I th I'm keeping in contact with Luke all the time. Yeah, he hasn't made a decision yet what he wants to do, but I think he'll have an announcement pretty soon. So, yeah. Of course, it. Shane, no more of your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, mate.